Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. So today we are going to talk about the new feature in Femora 11.4.6. So this in this feature are very interesting in my opinion, especially the beauty filter. Uh, it can help you smoothen your skin and adjust your face, your eye and your nose and your mouth. So everything. So it's very funny, funny and interesting. And the second interesting feature is the ability to export your video in alpha channel or transparent background. So that is what I'm going to explain to you in this new feature of Filmora 11. Okay. And if you want to upgrade to this latest version, all you need to do is to check for updates inside the software, or you can just go ahead to the link in the description to download it and then reinstall the software. And also don't worry about your current project or pending project and because they are there. It will not do anything with your project. Just reinstall the software. Okay, so uh, let's, let me show you the first interesting feature. It's about the beautify future. Okay, uh, so for example here, I'm inside Filmora 11 and this is the before and after. So just uh, look at my face. Okay, so this is before. I have many holes on my face and my eye is small, but uh, with a beautify filter, we can just check it. <laughs> you can see my skin is brighter and smoother and also my eyes is bigger, but it's too much to adjust my eye. And also my nose is narrower. So this is the beautify filter, We is in the utility folder at the effect tab. Okay, so let me show you how to use it, for example, and this is my original video, okay? So I just want to increase the preview window so that you can see it better. If you want to use this beauty, beautify filter, all you need to do is to go to the effect tab, and then you want to find the utility folder here, and then you have this one, beautif beautify, beautify. You can drag and drop it directly to your video, or if you want, you can just put it, on top of your video so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to put it right here so that you can see before and after okay so this is before and this is after but if you want to control control the the filter you want to double click at the filter here just double click and now you have four tab here firstly it's about the beauty so it is your general beauty okay here you can redden your skin and smoothen your skin and whitening whitening your skin so all you need to do is to adjust the slider there are so many parameters here or for example if i want to whiten in my skin i can just increase this slider so it will whiten in my skin and also the whole video okay and something is very interesting to me is that my teeth is not always white so i can whiten in my teeth with this one you can just increase it right here and let's check the, the before and after for example at this position at this position I have my teeth right and now I want to put it this beauty so right here so you see that the video has been whitening and also my teeth is whitened <laughs> more white okay <laughs> very interesting uh, let's just double click again so uh, this is just about the beauty but this is about your face. You can also adjust the parameter of your face also. You can screen your face and screen your jaw, narrow face or stuff like that. For example, if I increase this slider, my face will become smaller, narrower. <laughs> funny, <laughs> so funny. And this is for the eye. You can enlarge your eyes. For example, this is, you see, I can make it bigger here. And I can make it round eyes, you see here, on the right side. And I can turn on and off the effect so that you can see here. Yeah, it's with the effect and this without effect. <laughs> so funny. And right here, you can adjust your nose, a narrow nose and the length of your nose and stuff like that. But be careful with this beauty, beauty filter because if you adjust it too much and it becomes unnatural. Okay, so that is the first new feature in Filmora 11. And I think it is very interesting, especially for beauty blogger or someone who wants to control your face. Okay, 
So let's go ahead to the second second interesting new feature is the ability to export your video in transparent background. Okay, so uh, what I call here is the CFHD GoPro format or Cine format. And to be honest, I have never heard about this codec before. By the way, the, the most common use is to export your uh, video in transparent background. So we, for example, we have a title and uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is the title. Okay, so let's go ahead to put the preview window to normal. And if we adjust something here, for example, the in title, uh, let's replace it to my name, for example, Jake, Jackie Nguyen title. And well, what if I want to overlay a logo here, for example, uh, let's click here and get a logo, maybe Fimura 11 logo, okay, and do some animation for the logo, uh, let's make it right here, uh, yeah, just a quick design for my, uh, for an intro, I can make it here and I can double click and go to animation and I can select a preset, uh, make it vortex in, and now if you want to export this video or this logo video, and have a transparent background so that you can edit to your your video and now it is possible so all you need to do is to yes just export uh, go to the export tab and now at the local folder you have the GoPro Cineform so this is the the one that you can select a new codec for your video uh, to export the video without background okay just select it and then you want to have a name, maybe intro transparent. And let's keep it like that. Okay, and the next thing you want to go to setting. And here you have some option and see here. This is the, the new encoder in Fimura 11. Normally you only have uh, 8.264 8 or H265 and that is the most common codec you want to use. So here you want to select this one, CFHD Alpha, meaning that your background, your video background will be transparent. Okay, just select it and you can also select the frame rate and you can also select the video quality here also. And then you want to save it as a new preset, maybe transparent. And then you're going to click save. And now you can export this one. So just click the export button and it will export your video. This video with a transparent background. Okay, just wait a few minutes. All right, so now it's finished and let's click open folder to view this one. And this is a video and we can just re-import it to our Fimura. Okay, just go back to the export and this is intro transparent. Just right and drop it right here. Okay. And it is in the program now. And now I can delete this one. And if I put my video here on the timeline and mute the audio. And now at this part, I want to have a intro or style like that. I can use this one. Just drag and drop it right here. Uh, because we have a transparent background. So it would be okay. Just play. See that? We have a transparent background here with a logo animation and stuff like that. So that is the second interesting new feature in Fimura 11. And to be honest, if you want to know more about this codec, the CF, CFHD, you have to go to the internet and watch other YouTubers because to be honest, I don't know anything about this one until now. Okay, so that is the second one. And the next new feature in Fimura 11.4.6 is the option to select a select a, a format for your snapshot okay so before moving to the new feature of the program i want to mention that we also have another export option in Fimura 11.4.6 so i forgot to mention this feature when i film my tutorial so i have to yes make some modification so now in Fimura 11.4.6 we are able to export a portion of the timeline or a selected range on the timeline, not only the video. So it is very interesting feature. Uh, okay, let me show you. For example, if I want to just export this portion, 
this portion with the video effect and also a title here all I need to do is to press X on my keyboard okay so that will set an in point and out point for our timeline so you can also see it here this is the in point for the timeline and this is the out point for the timeline and if you click this button to view everything on the timeline and then you will see this one this is the in point and this is the out point and you can adjust it manually by just clicking here and then drag it to the position that you want to export for example I want to export this portion okay and I can also move this I'm sorry uh, just click again and I can also move the in point to this position so that's very interesting right by the way if you want to delete the in point and out point all you need to do is to press shift X on your keyboard to delete the in point and out point on the timeline okay for example I can press X again and then I can select a portion that I want to export this one and, and now all you need to do is to click the export button okay just click the export button and now we want to make it selected portion or range uh, something like that okay and let's select YouTube and now I'm going to export this one and show you the result of the export okay just wait a few minutes because it is just a short portion maybe three or four seconds only this portion on the timeline okay and then we can open the folder to view this file and here is my selected range just double click So you see that it's export only this portion uh, with a title and video effect in my video that's very nice right and there's another way if you want to clear the in point and out point first and then you want to go to the export option here and you can also have an option export selected range okay and you can also right click on the timeline and select export selected range it will also create in point and out point for your timeline for example just click here and now you see the in point and the out point okay so this is another new feature in Filmora 11.4.6 so let's say it number six and let's continue with the snapshot format normally you only have one format it is in PNG and now you are able to save your snapshot in JPEG so it's better to have a JPEG image so that you can create a YouTube thumbnail or a stuff like that because the JPEG file is normally smaller file than PNG okay for example let's take a look at my video here uh, okay and uh, let's mute the audio and now if I want to to use this this image as a, a thumbnail for my YouTube video and now all I need to do is to click here take a snapshot if we uh, select the snapshot button and now we can select the snapshot format uh, we PNG is normal and then we can select JPEG for example and you can also remember your choice by checking this box and you have an option to select the location to save your snapshot and then you want to click OK and now it will take a snapshot here and this is JPEG and we can review review in Explorer and we can see the size of the, uh, the, the image it is only 124 kilobyte so this is much smaller than a PNG and now if, uh, if you want uh, to change it back to PNG all you need to do is to go to file and select the reference and then you need to select the editing tab right here and just scroll down you have another option here for the snapshot format here so just change it to PNG for example and then click OK and next time if you take a snapshot it will become PNG not the JPEG anymore so this is PNG so let's right click and review in Explorer okay and this is PNG image and you see that the size is much bigger it is 1.78 megabyte okay so that is the third interesting new feature in Filmora 11 and another interesting one is the, the ability to change the preview window to portrait mode instead of normal widescreen like this for example if you make YouTube short or stuff like that uh, I can just change it to a YouTube short vertical format or stuff like that and let's click OK and let's right click 
and crop to fit for this one okay and normally you have to review your short video like this but now you have an option to to make it vertical or preview it vertically okay just right click at the preview window and now you have this one vertical screen and just click here and it will let you review your video in vertical format uh, and like this and you have your timeline here and then you can play and you see here it is just a full vertical screen of your video and I think it's better but uh, it's not as interesting as the, the new feature I mentioned above okay you want to go back to normal then you want to right click and then select this option again vertical screen or restore just click here and it will become here yeah, normal okay so that is number four new feature of Filmora 11.4.6 and the last new feature is about the pricing plans of Filmora 11 you know that normally they have a pricing plans with the, the software license and also a special subscription plan for the plugin and effect but now they separate the license and the and the effect subscription I think it is very good to to have this kind of pricing plan because not everyone wants to purchase both the license and the the effect patch uh, one is a single license a lifetime license and the other is a month monthly subscription so okay let me show you filmora.windowshare.com okay talking about the license if you want to purchase a license only single license then you can use my 20 percent discount coupon code in the description okay uh, now just click the buy now button and they have different plans for individual teams and business educational and bundles but that is the individuals plan and it is the most popular one okay so now they have monthly month plans uh, 9.99 US dollar per month and you see that they remove the effect and plug-in price here no need to check the box or to remove the uh, the price the subscription price and it is annual plans it is uh, 49.99 and it is the perpetual plan um, which is the lifetime plans uh, that is 79.99 and now they separate the effect and plug-in you want to subscribe for the effect and plug-in you have to click here subscribe now and it will show the price okay so this is the price 20.99 US dollar per month and it is very interesting that they separate the software license and the effect and plug-in price okay so uh, here is the perpetual plan 79.99 but if you use my 20% discount coupon code you can you can purchase the lifetime license at 63.99 only for this one and for annual plan it is only 39.99 US dollar per, per year okay all right so that is everything about this new version if you want to update to this latest version it's up to you just go ahead to the link in the description to download and reinstall the software i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know at the comment section below thank you very much for watching and goodbye